Assalamualaikum and very good morning, very good day. Today I would like to share on a study entitled Characterization of Watermelon Rain Powder using foam mat drying with different type of foaming agent and temperature. And I'm Sabrina Binti Munawar and I'm from Faculty Science dan Teknologi Makanan University Putra Malaysia. Uh, okay, as we know, watermelon rain actually has been regarded as one of the waste or byproduct. However, the watermelon rain can be turned into a value added product given that the it is uh, it has natural sources of protein, fiber and also antioxidant. However, it is still considered as underutilized uh, byproduct. So one of the way to um, benefit from watermelon rain actually is by turning it into a watermelon rain powder. Uh, with this can be achieved through several drying treatment, for example, vacuum, foam mat drying, freezing, and also spray drying. But for uh, this time, I want to focus more on uh, foam mat drying uh, type of treatment. So for the problem statement of this study, actually, the rain itself represents thirty percent of the whole fruit of a uh, solid waste. So the solid waste from watermelon is considered uh, from watermelon rain is considered as thirty percent of the weight, and it is high in moisture. So any bad handling will cause the rain to deteriorate and spoil much faster. So a proper processing should be carried out to make sure the watermelon rain powder can have a longer shelf life. So for the objective of this study, the first one is to investigate the optimum condition of foam mat drying at different temperature, three different temperature, 50, 60 and 70 using two different forming agents, which were uh, maltodextrin and egg albumin. So the second one is to determine the effect of different concentration of this forming agent, uh, three different concentration, 10%, 15%, and 20% uh, on, and on the physiochemical, on selected physiochemical properties, flowability, and also powder properties of the watermelon rain powder. So based on uh, this table of literature review, we can see that there are so many methods have been done by previous researcher to obtain watermelon rain powder. And several of the methods are freeze and hot air drying, but basically most are using hot air drying at different uh, temperature. And also this can be um, it can be noted that the foam mat drying um, the treatment that uh, is focused on this study uh, have been used by many researcher to produce um, powdered uh, product from different sources for example tamarind yakon marshmallow pineapple shrimp and even papaya So basically, for the materials and method, um, okay, this is a uh, this is the watermelon ring, uh, look like, okay, and um, forming agent use, a maltodextrin and also maltodextrin and egg albumin. So for the process flow, the sample treatment for uh, watermelon ring. Actually, it's quite simple. The watermelon will wash and peel first uh, to remove any impurities. And also, it will um, grind with a blender for 5 minutes. Okay, after that, um, a certain um, a different concentration of forming agent, 10, 15, and 20% uh, was added and whip using mixer so the whipping action will uh, will form foam foam types 
and uh, next the rin puree will uh, dry in smoke dryer for about eight hours before scraping uh, the dried form and before scraping the dried cake and grind it okay so this is the view of the end product the watermelon rind added with maltodextrin and the watermelon rind powder added with egg albumin okay so this is the control and all of uh, this product uh, were dried at 60 degrees celsius so there are two sections of analysis uh, in this study. The first section is analysis on rin puree. Uh, uh, a few proximate analysis, total soluble solid uh, by using refractometer, pH by pH meter, and also form analysis to see the um, form expansion, form stability uh, produced from maltodextrin and egg albumin when all those forming agent at with uh, watermelon rain puree and the second section is on analysis of rain powder and it involves the physiochemical properties powder properties such as bulk and top density and also the flowability of the powder by using um, Hosner ratio and car index and solubility and water absorption index so these are the result for um, the first section on the watermelon rain puree so this is the proximate analysis properties of rain puree 0.36% um, for ash 2.9% for crude fiber and also 6.82% for crude protein so as for the total soluble solid and pH of rain puree I want to focus more on the result in yellow circle okay from the result we can see that watermelon rain powder added with maltodextrin forming agent actually have more have a significant higher total soluble solid as compared to egg albumin okay do this may be due to the interaction of maltodextrin with um, carbohydrate um, also soluble solid uh, that found in the watermelon ring which were which present in a quite large amount 62 to 87 percent and the pH of the uh, rain puree also we can see that it is slightly acidic okay and indicate the uh, it is uh, slightly acidic and also we can see that pH as all the pH range are slightly higher than the control pH okay for the forming properties we can see that um, there's no Actually, there's no significant difference in form density, but for form inspection, uh, we can see that maltodex um, watermelon rain powder added with egg albumin, we um, add with twenty percent at egg albumin, actually have the highest form expansion, uh, eighteen percent. Okay, this may due to the protein albumin itself, as protein albumin will denature at the interface and form a stable interfacial film at the time of whipping okay, during the whipping process and the protein will rapidly absorb the air water interface and it was unfold and rearranged quickly forming a viscous and cohesive film that through intermolecular interaction to produce effective foam so that's why the result uh, by adding the 20 percent of albumin the foam expansion is the highest okay for moisture content and water activity the moisture content and okay so for this one is the beginning of the analysis of second section on the analysis of the watermelon rain powder itself okay for moisture content the dry EARP meaning that rain powder added with egg albumin uh, added with 10% egg albumin and dried at 50 degrees celsius has the highest moisture content whereas watermelon rain powder added with 20% maltodextrin dried at 70 degrees celsius has the lowest moisture content around 3.46% so this indicate it is more um, vulnerable to any um, spoilage 
and it is more stable considering it is very it is quite dry okay the water um, the water activity the water activity usually measure for the um, availability of free water that will um, take part in the biochemical reaction okay so we can see here that watermelon rain powder added uh, with maltodextrin and dried at 70 degrees Celsius have a significantly um, lower water activity lower water activity as compared to other um, other drying treatment okay for the color for the color result you can see here that um, the the watermelon green powder added with 20% maltodextrin and dry at 60 degree celsius actually has the okay this one has the highest uh, L value lightness value and less A and B value meaning that it is um, less in redness and less in yellowness okay uh, the concept of um, drying actually cause the fruit puree to uh, subject to high temperature and it will uh, further have enzymatic and non-enzymatic uh, browning okay so at 70 percent the L value at 70 degree degree Celsius drying the L value is considered um, low for egg albumin okay and for maltodextrin considering that the temperature is quite high and the um, end product becoming darker in color okay for bulk and tap density bulk density actually um, is uh, it, it's correlated with how ease of the reconstitute, how ease of the packaging, and how ease of the marketing and, and transportation of the product. So, um, in bulk density, uh, it is desirable to have a low bulk density, to have a good um, flowability, and also instant characteristic. So, the lowest, uh, the lowest bulk density obtained in uh, watermelon green added with 20% um, egg albumin as compared to other treatment okay so lower bulk density will actually desirable and it will influence the flowability characteristic that will be analyzed by car, is, car index and Hosner ratio okay uh, for Hosner ratio and car index, this is the analysis to uh, measure the flowability of the uh, powder. So to uh, to achieve good flowability, the car index should be less than ten, and the Hosner ratio should be less than one point one percent, one point one one percent. Okay, so uh, from the result, we can um, see that most of the treatment have um, good uh, flowability as all the result is less than 10% less than 10 for car index and less than 1.11 for Hosner ratio so it can be considered that the flowability is good and it's not kicking or clumping at that moment okay so for solubility and water absorption index so we can um, see that the watermelon rain powder added with 20% um, maltodextrin uh, and dried at 60 degrees Celsius have a high solubility index percentage and low absorption index as compared to other treatment. Okay, so as for conclusion, based on the result obtained, it shows that the optimum condition in producing watermelon rain powder 
perform matte drying uh, was the use of 20% maltodextrin or foaming agent with drying temperature at 60 degrees Celsius. So 20% maltodextrin and 60 degrees of uh, drying temperature. So the addition of maltodextrin, it will give uh, more better, better characteristic in terms of free flowing and non-sticky um, fruit powder. And the, for the application for the watermelon green powder, it can be used as um, instant beverages also as flavoring agent and also can be used in soup to have like um, watermelon flavor. So with that, I thank you. Thank you.